everyone, it's Smita. It's the festival season in India and I wanted to show you a simple yet stunning look for Ganesh Chaturthi which is coming up pretty soon. So if you're ready, let's begin. <music> to prep my skin, I'm going to be using the Kahi Wrinkle Bounce Multi Balm. This is going to deeply moisturize the skin while the ingredients in this will help to stimulate collagen to promote and restore elasticity to give you a more youthful look. And to hydrate under my eyes, I'm going to be using Tula. This is the Rose Glow Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. It hydrates and cools your skin on contact. As soon as you apply it, you can feel the cooling effect. And then I decided why not cool the rest of my face as well. So I'm going to be using the Ofra Cool as Cucumber Primer. This is one of my favorite Ofra primers. It's a moisturizer and a mattifying primer, so it works double duty. Now, because it also works as a moisturizer, it's extremely hydrating. It gets rid of all the dry patches on the skin and gives you a beautiful finish. It's time to even out my skin tone. So I'm going to be using the EXA High Fidelity Color Corrector in the shade Peach. I'm using a small amount under my eyes as well as around my mouth so I can neutralize everything and even out the skin tone. For foundation, I'm going with a light coverage. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the dewy one and I'm using the shade Caramel. It comes with an applicator, so I'm going to use that to dot it all over my face. And then I'm going to blend everything out with a flat foundation brush. I recently uploaded a video on different foundation application techniques and I'm going to link that video right on top if you haven't watched it. This is such a beautiful foundation. It gives you a more skin-like finish. And of course, you can layer on top of this and build it up to medium coverage. I like to first blend it out on my face and with the residue that's left on the brush, I bring it down to my neck. I don't prefer to take any extra product while applying it on my neck because I don't want it to get on my clothes. All I'm doing here is matching up my neck with my face color. For a very light contour, I'm going to be using a deeper shade of concealer. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade 200N. Cream contours are more subtle than powder contours because here you're blending it with the foundation then applying a powder on top of it. So that is going to look more natural and give you a more seamless blend. And as you can see, I'm using very less product. Using the same brush that I used for the foundation, I'm going to blend everything out. So that way there's going to be some residue of foundation still left on the brush that's going to mix with the contour and give you a more seamless blend. And with just a little extra, I'm going to contour my nose with my fingers. For concealer, I'm using my favorite. This is the Milani Concealer. I'm using a shade that's a close match to my skin tone, which is 145 or warm beige. I'm going to only focus this in areas where my skin tone is different, mostly around my eyes and my mouth. To blend it out, I'm using a fluffy brush by Real Techniques. I'm going to link all the products that I used in the description box right below this video, so do check that out. Using the Laura Mercier setting powder, I'm going to quickly set just around my eyes because that's where the concealer tends to crease because I have a lot more fine lines there so they settle in the fine lines and crease. For blush, I'm using a cream blush. This is the Belle Rose Lip and Cheek Tint by Pure by Priyanka. I'm taking just a little bit in the back of my hands and we have a cute visitor in my studio. He's standing right behind me. That's my puppy Neo by the way. I'm going to apply this right on my cheekbones and the brush that I'm using is a flat angled kabuki brush by Do Color. At this point, after I feel like I have my base makeup on, I like to take a large powder puff or in this case, I'm using the Tati Blenderful and I like to press it on my skin to remove the excess product. That'll blend everything seamlessly. It'll remove some of that excess product and make the makeup settle beautifully on your skin to give you that flawless finish. And then to lock my makeup, I'm going to be using a setting spray. This is the Long Lasting Super Setter by Benefit Cosmetics. The quickest way I do my brows is by using a brow pencil. And I'm using my favorite one. This is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit Cosmetics in the shade 4. 
I like to shape and fill in first on the top portion of my brows and then there's a spoolie in the back of the pencil so I use that to brush my brow hair upwards so I can clearly see at the bottom and fill that in. I love neutral palettes and here's one that I've been reaching out to quite often. It's the Get It Together eyeshadow palette by Honest Beauty. I in fact carried this to India when I traveled this time. It's so compact and it's got pretty much all the shades that I use regularly. With this large elf concealer brush, which I use as a blending brush by the way, I'm going to dip into this cooler shade of brown and I'm going to use this to warm up my outer corner and the crease. That'll be my transition and that'll set the base for whatever's coming up next so I can blend in all all the eyeshadows with this and create that beautiful ombre. I'm going to use it all the way from the outer to the inner corner and then with a smaller pencil brush I'm also going to warm up my lower lash line using this eyeshadow. And then to deepen the outer corner and the crease I'm going to dip into a deeper shade of brown but this time I'm going to be using a blending brush by Rosen Ben Beauty. I'm going to start with the outer corner so that's where I'll focus most of this eyeshadow on and then with the residue that's left on the brush I'm going to bring it all the way down to my crease towards the inner corner. While I'm applying this eyeshadow I'm also blending it out with the transition shade that I just used. That way it's going to be deepest at the crease and the outer corner and as it moves upward and outward it becomes lighter. And again with the pencil brush I'm going to use it to deepen my lower lash line. To clean up the outer edge and to sharpen it a bit I'm going to use some powder with the powder puff. It almost acts like an eraser. And then I'm going to be using the Pixi Liquid Fairy Lights Glitter Eyeshadow in Rose Gold to cut my crease. It's going to be a half cut crease and then I'm going to quickly blend out the edges with my finger so it flows in with the other eyeshadows before it dries down. Next, dipping into this black eyeshadow with a small definer brush, I'm going to pull out a small wing in the outer corner. So it's going to be more of a smoked out smoky wing look. And then with my nail, I'm going to sharpen the edge of the wing before I smoke out that black eyeshadow in my lower lash line as well, very close to my waterline. A traditional look is incomplete without some black coal in the waterline. So I'm going to be using the Aqua Resist Pencil by Makeup Forever in the waterline. And then using this lighter metallic shade, I'm going to highlight my inner corner as well as brow bones. It's time to finish up, so I'm going to curl my lashes. My curler is from Sally Hansen. And then for mascara, I'm using one of my favorite ones. This is the Ico Beach Waterproof Mascara. I love the fact that it adds so much length and volume. It's vegan and it's also long lasting. It's waterproof and beach approved. You can also add false lashes if you prefer, but I'm going to stop at mascara today because I like the way this looks. And here is the finished eye look that got done so quick. At the same time, it looks so sultry and so pretty. It's got that sparkle as well. So overall, it just is perfect for any festival. My sari has red in it so I'm going to be using the perfect red lip shade. This is Brickell by Ofra Cosmetics and if you haven't tried the Ofra lipsticks they are the most comfortable on the lips. I'm going to quickly change into my sari and also wear some jewelry and bindi and here is the completed look. I hope you loved this look as much as I loved creating it for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post several times a week. In the description box right below this video, you'll find links to all my socials, as well as links to all the products that I used in today's tutorial. So do check that out. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye, guys.